Hello, and welcome back to the Talos Principle audiobook. You know, when we checked out in the main hub to see, like, how many levels there were total, I was thinking, ah, th this seems like it's gonna be a bit shorter, you know? Like, about the size of, like, one hub in the main world, or maybe one and a half or so. Now I'm starting to think this might be pretty lengthy after all, compared to the main game. It's just most of the length seems to be hidden in these terminals. Holy crap. We just played Underwater Night Quest, and we still have a couple things left to test in that, and then there were more things to do, right? So we're probably gonna be uh, sitting in the terminal for a while longer. Place Your Bets is gonna be a terminal-only episode again. A lot of the thumbnails are probably gonna be quite boring, just like the terminals, but we'll see. Uh, I just noticed this. Is this like... No. This is normal. Institute for Applied Nomadics. Yeah, just, I thought from here, this almost look, looked like it was like crayon or something, or like scratched in. So I thought maybe they had like been vandalized a little bit, just doodling and stuff. But no, maybe nothing like that. All right. Here we go. Okay, let's go back to Underwater Night Quest. So I wanted to do like two things, basically. First off, I want to try and get the minimum stuff required and then just take on... By the way, apparently it's like... It's Zmi or something, and it's like Russian for snake. I have no idea, but yeah, so it's like the god serpent, the snake, basically. So yeah, obviously, snake from, uh, from the main game. Uh, but yeah, I want to get there with a minimum amount of stuff possible and then lose, because I'm assuming you can if you just don't have anything. Surely you can lose. And then, like I said last time, I also want to do the, like, uh, the, uh, the dwarf thing and just, like, tell him I'll give your pickaxe back later and see if that does anything. So I guess... I guess we'll try and do both at the same time. So let's do... What is it? Is palace first? And then the dungeon appears. Then we go to the dungeon. Get the lantern, and then go west. Talk to a dwarf. Okay, uh, and then I'll argue that activities are different. The difference is not inherent, but comes from with. This is the same, right? From within, from your own sense of attachment, you project the difference from within yourself. If you let go of the sense of attachment, then there is no difference. Yeah, that's the exact same. Argue he should give you his pickaxe. No. Oh, no, that's fine, yeah, but it's my pickaxe. Yeah, argue he's attached to it, but promise to bring it back. Hmm, I suppose so. Otherwise, I would be showing too much attachment to this pickaxe after all. All right, you can have it, but only if you swear that you'll bring it back. I, I can't say no. Swear and go back to the map. Okay, so you just get it. And then if we check our stuff, my stats, we have a pickaxe of philosophy plus three, which the question is... Is that a better weapon than the sword? Because the sword was like the prophesized weapon of the hero. So, but that was only like plus two or something, wasn't it? Or was that also plus three? I don't know. But this is like not great stuff, but it is pretty decent. So I guess we'll see if I just win with only this. Evil Lair. Ah, there we go. Yep. You fight valiantly, but you are not prepared enough. You are killed in a horrible fashion. I mean, I guess that's kind of all I want to see. I don't think there was anything else of note. I mean, it would be like trying to get everything optimal and then go to the palace, like make sure I get the like prophesized, the heroes prophesized to take over the realm or uh, to win this realm or something. But I've already won the realm, so I don't doubt it would be any difference. So let's just quit out of this and move on from underwater night quest for now. So. I'm still only five, so we have to do some other stuff. We'll do Mr. Mulciber's theories on poetry. Some thoughts on the art form called poetry on poetry.txt. Lilith, I've thought about this too, but maybe it's wrong to focus on such negativity. We certainly, maybe I should just read it before I even read the, uh, yeah, I think before we read any of this, I should just read what he's saying, because that's what everyone is reacting to, right? So let's just read on poetry. Mr. Mulciber's theories on poetry. As far as I can tell, poetry was a human art form that involved writing short sentences that ended in words similar with similar letters. 
Humans were obsessed with pattern recognition, and I think the sequences of sounds created by poetry pleased that aspect of their brains. There were many schools of poetry, institutions that taught a specific way of writing poetry. Students sometimes changed allegiance and had to leave the school, which was difficult due to the lack of affordable public transport in many human empires. Important schools of poetry included Hellenism, Lyricism, Pastoralism, Romanticism, Symbolism, Communism, Modernism, Autoeroticism, Postmodernism, and Lolcatism. Hmm, one of these is not quite like the others, and I think he's missing the mark on a couple things, but oh well. I'm not sure I can... Oh, I should scroll down. Whoops. I'm not sure I can fully back this up, but I feel like in your in later years, poetry somehow stagnated. Most of the poetry from the later human centuries seems to be lacking the quality of craft that defines the earlier work. Wow, throwing shade here. And there are even texts that suggest that poetry intentionally no longer aimed at aesthetics or even pleasure. Poetry became disconnected from the human process. The poet Adrian Mitchell famously wrote, Most people ignore most poetry because most poetry ignores most people. I mean, that kind of makes sense to me. I can't help but wonder whether that kind of stagnation can happen to us too. How long can our work keep flourishing when we are so limited? We are outside Elohim's process, but where is our process? We must consider such questions carefully if we are to preserve Gehenna and its achievements. Yeah, I mean, I guess poetry is kind of a, a dead art at this point. Not really, but, you know, dying art. It's not as important anymore to, like, culture as a whole as it maybe was 100 years ago, 200 years ago, more than that. But maybe that means that they could also grow past it or something and not be limited. I don't know. So now let's just read what people said. Uh, yeah, I guess it was right here. We certainly seem to be in a very fertile period at the moment. That That is what Lilith said, right? Let's just confirm it again. Uh, yeah, here we go. Yeah, okay, that was that was it. Nave, I don't have an opinion, but I'm impressed by your work, Mr. Mulziber. You know so much more about the past than any of us. Dog, your theories are interesting, but I'm sure Milton would point out some pretty big gaps in your assumptions. I can't do it. I don't see any gaps, but someone else probably would, because he always pointed out gaps in my assumptions. That's what he's saying. Mr. Mulziber, Milton isn't here, dog, and neither is Elohim. All we have is what we can find in the fragments of the archive, and what we can piece together using our minds. I'm sure I've made many mistakes, just like the humans made mistakes when trying to understand their own past. Rockwell, not all these schools may have been what they seem. I don't trust pastoralism. Pastors engaged in large-scale food sterilization in what may have been an attempt to control evolution. Nave, what's food? Borg, Gehenna is our process, Mr. Mulciber. As long as we remember that, we won't stagnate. 401, maybe one of us should try to write poetry. Sure. Haven't they already done that? Didn't we read some, like, kind of poetic thing here and there? I don't know. Uh, but yeah, I guess that's it. Now it's just if we want to create a new thread. Oh boy, this seems like a big decision, but I guess? Please enter your thread topic below. Remember that supported po posts receive more upvotes. Why were you sent here? What is the truth about Gehenna? Shit. I mean, I guess I'm more curious about th the truth of Gehenna. Why were you sent here? Yeah, I mean, why were you sent here it feels like that's just speculation. Like, no one's gonna know the answer to that. But maybe, collectively, we can reach kind of a, a truth about what is happening right now in the things we can control. Like, it, you know, obviously thinking about life and stuff, like, no one can answer why, why we exist or whatever. But maybe we can answer truths about our world, possibly. So let's do that. Your thread has been created. Check back soon to see if anyone has replied. That's it? That's all we do? Just like, what is the truth about Ganna? No, nothing more than that. And there's already people... People... Oh no, okay, we, we do write more. Uriel copy. I have heard from those who govern this world how they would have it be seen. Now I wish to hear from its people. What is Gehenna to you? On what does it truly turn? Yeah, okay, that's a better way to formulate that. And... Now we just wait and see when people, 
people post on that, I suppose. And maybe we'll get some upvotes and get to, to rank 6 or whatever, level 6. Alright, well there we go. I guess we actually do get to play a little bit of the game today. <laughs> Not just read the terminals. So, we are done entirely except for the open field thing. Yeah, it has this EN thing here as well. So, let's continue exploring open field. So, I mean, I was walking around over there, but I guess we'll just kind of uh, swing by this side instead. Like, to the left here. Just gonna check. Show me that leprechaun. Nothing here. And then we, we definitely have some, like, bonus stuff in here, but the question is, what is bonus stuff and what is, like, the, the actual puzzle? What are we trying to do in this open field? We'll see. No. Oh, okay. Yeah, this is a very interesting level. I kind of wish more levels were like this, just very open and unrestrictive, and, like, you don't even really... Like, the puzzle is kind of figuring out what you're even supposed to do, instead of just how to do it. Which can be kind of interesting, especially as a, a breath of fresh air. Can I not get up here? Come on, I can get up here. Yeah, there we go. No leprechaun. Let's just check around the perimeter before we do anything. Again, I can probably jump up somewhere, like here, or here. No? There's that weird music again. There we go. Yeah, just to make sure there's nothing, like, in a little crack or something in a rock. And yeah, I'm, I'm gonna check the actual water at some point as well. Just, like, go along the shore, kind of seeing under the surface as much as I can, but... For now, I'm just focusing on what's on land. Yeah. Nothing much so far. I'm just expecting things to lie in, like, little crevices in the rocks and stuff. But maybe they're more sneaky than, than that. This is kind of something. It's not hollow, though, so even if we did have, like, a box here and jumped up... Did this level even have boxes? I can't remember. Then, uh, that wouldn't really do much. We can't take the fan here, but we can take the fan here. No, we cannot. Okay, never mind. wonder what that's gonna be about. Just launching back and forth. Yeah, let's wait with looking in the level. And then this stuff is, is still part of the level. Like, this is where we're supposed to solve things and let out the guy. Yeah, again, I should try and just... Stick to the very outer edge to begin with, until we meet up with where I was last time. Which, was that here? Yeah, that was here. Hello. And again, we can't see the name until we're done with this puzzle. Hey, what's up? Hey, I'm right here. Guy. See, so yeah, I guess that's it for now. Oh, that's pretty restrictive kill zone in the water. So that's it, now we can just move inward a little bit. So, the whole goal is bringing a red laser here. Which in that case, maybe we do, like, in the, in the sky? Launching it back and forth, so it, like, powers this in mid-air? I don't know. We'll have to see. And again, there's, like, so much more I could explore here. I didn't explore fully this whole side, but 
for now, let's just do a little bit at a time. There's like too much to worry about. Kind of gets overwhelming. There's, there is a box, okay. We do have boxes here. That's good. Boxes are easy to break stuff with. That looks suspicious. This looks very suspicious, but we would need like three boxes or maybe more if I would be able to get in there. But that could be something. That, that seems suspicious. Hmm. No oh, man. Yeah, there's just so many places to look. Oh, hello. Freedom is always the freedom of the dissenter. And then some hexadecimal. Luxembourg collected. Okay. Well, not sure if I uh, made a mistake here somewhere, but cannot delete, I guess. Yeah, maybe I made a mistake somewhere there. Or maybe it's just a bit wonky. Yeah, I'm done with everything there. God, these leprechauns are gonna be far too hard to find, aren't they? Can I do something here? I can't jump there, but we could from here, and then up here, and then up here. Oh? This has to be something, right? One of these has to be something. Yeah, here's like, you can jump up again. Leprechaun? No? Come on! Give me something! This seems like such a, a secret spot. No QR code, no nothing? No little nod? Well, let's, let's check the other side. We could jump across here as well. Oh, shit. But if I did, I wouldn't be able to stand here, so it wouldn't really matter too much. But let's try the other side. No leprechaun? Oh my god. Yeah, I really thought I had something there. Oh. This seems like the kind... The kind of place that would have a secret. Damn it, that's kind of a hard jump to land on here. Like, I think then I could jump up? Oh man, I want to test that. We're not solving this level today, by the way. We gotta be doing some out-of-bound stuff as well. There we go. Oh, come on. You can jump up that. Can I stand on, like, the very corner? I don't think I can. Shit. Yeah, I guess that's not happening then. Sprint jumping does nothing. If I had a box? Oh, God! I... What? How did I do that? I was gonna say, if I had a box, I could do it, but I guess I can do it on my own as well. And yeah, we could definitely break out of all of this. As soon as I get a box, we can do a lot of crazy stuff. I can't just jump here, no. It has to be over here. There we go. Okay, alright. This is kind of tricky. And then we could jump in here, I believe. Oh, wow. There's even a prompt for it. But I guess we're just kind of... We're just kind of in the main area. Like, this doesn't seem like an intentional Easter egg, I would say. I mean, I, I will jump in, though. Yeah, like, we could jump all the way across here. 
Have I... Have I been in here? I don't even recognize this. Ah, oh, crap. Ah, oh, damn. I saw green and got ex Oh, there we go! There we go! It is a leprechaun. Okay. We got two pieces. And both of them have been in the, like, main area, not inside a puzzle. So the question is if that's how it's gonna be. But yeah, that's not the first part either, of course. Looks like there's gonna be probably two more pieces, I would imagine. Like, one, one torso and one legs or something. Man, that is, that is sneaky. Yeah, okay. Uh, let's just focus on open field, and then we'll uh, try and find more of that later on. Holy crap, yeah, it might be in just the hub, or like the, the main area. So now, what is happening here? I, I'm just gonna check this out for like a minute, and then we actually have to end it. That's, uh, that's how it goes. Reading and out of bouncing. That's all we do. So yeah, I guess we just do stuff with this connector to begin with. That's kind of the only thing we can do. And where could we take the laser? To there? Sure. What does that do? Give us... Oh, there's another thing. This turns this on. It is very slow. That does seem like it would be a thing, yeah. Yeah. I think that's how you do it. I think we have to get the box and get... Oh man, yeah, how would you do that? There, I, I don't know if there are three connectors, but if there are three connectors, we would need both of these powered, and then a box and a connector on the box hooking up to, what was it, the red one? Red laser going all the way like up there and to the end. That seems to be the puzzle, but we might not have three connectors, and if so, I'm gonna have to do some like shenanigans, so we'll see about that. But let's leave it there for today. I guess at least next time we will just get in and do a puzzle right at the start. But I'm sure after I'm done with that, there's just going to be a lot more reading. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. I'll see you then. Oh, and happy holidays. Merry Christmas and all that, I guess. Kind of forgot until now. This one goes up on, uh, on Christmas Eve. Can you tell I make a big deal out of the holidays?